this time we're going to solve a centripetal force problem for something moving in a circle, in a vertical circle. What we're going to look for is, what's the tension? How much do you have to hold on to that rope when you swing something in a circle? And I want to look at the top and the bottom. Well, let's look at the top first. We're going to do what we always do, draw a free body diagram, label the direction of acceleration as positive, solve F net equals MA, and we should be able to find out the tension. So at the top, is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. Is it sitting on a surface? No, so there's no FN. Is something pulling on it? Yes, there is. There's tension. We don't know how big that is, so I'll draw it a little bit smaller than gravity. That's fine. They're both in the same direction. And is there friction? We're going to ignore friction. Okay, which way is it accelerating? If it's going in a circle, objects going in a circle accelerate towards the center. At the top, the center would be down. So down is going to be positive. Acceleration is positive down. All right, let's solve for the tension. F net equals MA, but it's going in a circle. Since it's going in a circle, I'm going to use centripetal acceleration there, and I'm going to choose from one of these two equations. There is a third, as you know, 4 pi squared R F squared, but I didn't write it on that because we don't really need it. Okay, so let's look at all the forces. Down is positive, so the F net is FT, because it's positive, plus Fg, because it's positive, equals m, and I'm going to choose to use this formula because I'm given the period. So let me plug in what I've got. Ft plus Fg on 2 kilograms. Let's figure out Fg. Fg equals mg equals 2 times 9.8 equals 19.6 feet. So I know the gravity is 19.6 newtons, 19.6. The mass is 2 times 4 pi squared. The radius is 2.5 divided by the period, 2.8 squared. So I figure all this out. I solve for this. I bring the 19.6 over to this side, and I get that Ft equals 5.6 newtons. Now what I want to do is solve for the tension at the bottom. We know that the tension from the last video, the overview, that the tension is going to be bigger than the tension up here because when it's swinging around, that's where you're going to pull on it the hardest. That's where the rope is most likely going to break. So I want to solve for it by doing the same thing, but it'll be a different free body diagram and I'll end up with a different number. But I've run out of room here. So we're going to do this in a separate video. The next video we're going to calculate at the bottom. Okay, in the last video what we did was we solved for the tension at the top by drawing a free body diagram using F net equals MA and solve for the tension. This time we're going to find the tension at the bottom. I've already calculated the force of gravity on a 2 kilogram object. It's 19.6 newtons. So I'll leave that there because I'm going to need it. Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram at the bottom. Okay, I've got, at the bottom, I've got gravity. Is it sitting on a surface? No, so there's no normal force. Is something pulling on it? Yes, I've got tension. Is there friction? We're going to ignore friction. Okay, I've looked at that, I've got my free body diagram. Is it accelerating? At the bottom, anything going in a circle is accelerating towards the center. So at the bottom, the acceleration would be up. So we're going to make a positive. That's why I drew Ft larger than Fg, because I need more force up than down. I've got more force up than down. Okay, so the equation that defines this, F net equals Ma, but it's going in a circle, so we're not going to use Ma, we're going to use Mac, and we're going to replace A with one of our two formulas. We have three formulas, but I've only got two shown here. The other one, 4 pi squared, uh, RO, 4 pi squared r, f squared is not here. You, you know that one. So let's do this. What is the net force? Tension is positive because it's up. So it's going to be Ft. Uh, gravity is down, so it's negative. At the top, you might remember we had Ft and Fg both in the same direction, and down was positive because it was accelerating down there. So we had Ft plus Fg. But in this case, uh, Ft is up. It's positive, Fg is down, it's negative. And that equals m, and I'm going to use 4 pi squared r over t squared. 
So I plug in my numbers, Ft minus Fg, 19.6, equals m, 2 kilograms, times 4 pi squared, the radius is 2.5, over the period squared. I multiply all this out. I bring the 19.6 onto this side. It's negative over here, so I'm going to add 19.6 to the right. So I'll end up with Ft equals 32 newtons.